Welcome to the National Security Agency. Everything you see and hear in this room is classified information. No flash photography or recording of any kind is allowed. Actually, now would be a good time to remove your battery from your phone. Sure, you could just silence them or turn them off, but if you leave your battery in, your phone can and will be tapped. There will be a 15 minute intermission when you can use the bathroom, get a drink, or catch up on the O'Reilly Factor. In the event of an emergency, like a fire or a Bernie Sanders presidency, please head to the nearest door marked exit. Thank you for coming and enjoy the show.
Excellent. And uh, by the way, we're going to be dividing up some of Pete's old assignments, so congratulations. You got the animal rights activist. Uh, oh, come on. Don't be such a Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pete, wait up. Okay. <laughs> is it bad that the more of a dick he is, the more turned on I am? <laughs> <laughs> what? You know I have a thing for damaged goods. Oh, no, not that. My, my new assignment is Steve Polardi from college. Stupid Steve. <laughs> yes. Oh, but that was a horrible nickname. Oh, that's right. You used to love him. No, I just, I thought he was fun to hang out with us all. Mm -hmm. Fun to hang out with in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> it was very professional. Oh, that's right. You guys got me that club together. Students against pet shops. And you got arrested for releasing all those dogs from PetSmart. We just wanted them to be free. Free to get the dogs. They've never seen a highway before. <laughs> oh my god, oh, what did the school newspaper call it? The puppy killing fields. <laughs> <laughs> I got you that memo. 
The memo was a good start, but it's not proof. We need evidence that it's happening. Well, then I'll find them all. A word of advice, Stephen. You're not cut out to play with the big boys. Why don't you stick to saving your whales? Well, Greenpeace is great. I just, I really want to help people. Aww. I know that I can do this. <laughs> do you even know what they'll do to you if you get caught? They'll send you to Guantanamo. Oh, yeah. I, re I read the Wikipedia page on that place. <laughs> they'll probably waterboard me and strip me naked and hose me down. They'll probably even leave me wet huh? and naked and myself. <laughs> 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 I got it from Facebook. <laughs> I didn't realize my number was public on there. 
really got to recheck those privacy settings. <laughs> well, not that I mind you calling. Actually, it's kind of nice to hear from you. Are you a big fancy lawyer now? I'm a surfer. A surfer? You were doing cowabunga. I was doing telephone. <laughs> no, I, I never pegged you as the outdoorsy type. Uh, yeah, I am. I am like surfing all day long, bro. But I got to catch me those waves out in Maryland. <laughs> so you're still in the D.C. area, too? Yeah, it's the surfing capital of the world. Make it stop! <laughs> I, I have some free time. Would you maybe want to catch up over dinner sometime? Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yes. Um, how, is, how is Thursday at 7? Uh, great. Um, how, do you know Cooper's Grill? Yes. Let's go there. Okay, great. Okay, great. I mean, cool, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, does anything on that phone call make you think that I would? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your date! No, it's not a date. It totally is. Ah, ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. 
right? That one's on me. Fine. Something only the real Mary Peters would know. Okay? Um, what's the last thing I said to you before we released all those puppies at PetSmart? There's no way this could possibly go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a puppy Jonestown. <laughs> you can't blame yourself. It's like they were drawn towards the interstate. Oh, Mary, it is you. Yes, it's me. Oh, phew. Get worried. Well, uh, and I work for the NSA. Cheers. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, you're here to arrest me! Oh no! No, 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 I don't know why I'm here, but to be honest, you're, you're being very sloppy. <laughs> of course I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
wall bulk clearance say of Omri sees. Do you mean the best day of my life? Amen forever, Jesus. Just today. No, let's not get crazy. Now, I assume that you have a plan to a lack it down. No, no clue. Okay. Men love sex. It's happening. You just have to use flirting to show him that you're interested. Okay. You have never really flirted before? Well, not in a way that works. <laughs> <laughs> the way that it works is that you repeat everything he says, but do it in a deep, sultry voice. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You <laughs> <laughs> see, you just sound like Harvey Firestein, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sending us subpoenas, and I'm doing nothing but putting out fires. Oh, well. Yeah. Fire my pants, you could put out. <laughs> um, that just sounds like you have gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Prove up the pneumatic cables, man. They leaked the entire thing. Rich, said they wanted to shed some light. Uh oh, we got the air free. So we pulled by the innocent agenda. It's got a few trick make believe stench. Of course, we stop firing on our own citizens. Next thing we're all speaking French. WikiLeaks, 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 WikiLeaks. To them I say no. Well, let's believe you. Destroy America. They want to change our way of life. It's an attempt at annexation. Look like our little Pete. I need protein. Oh, nothing. I just 
thought it'd be cool to hand off a briefcase like this. You know, like spies. Spies. <laughs> right, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's the briefcase. Right, the briefcase. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now she'll finally know just how much you care about her. Well, how will she know how much I care if I'm doing this anonymously? Oh, right. Um, about that. So I did speak with my handler at WikiLeaks, and she said that you can't do this whole thing anonymously. Okay. Um, um, but hear me out. Um, we could flee the country together. <laughs> On an airplane? No, 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 I don't fly. No, 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 come on. Uh, WikiLeaks has been looking into countries without extradition treaties. We would be safe in Lithuania. Lithuania? <laughs> yeah, it's right on the Baltic Sea, right next to Latvia. I mean, it's practically Europe. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. I cannot do this. Wait, but Lithuania is the world leader in electronic polka. No. <laughs> no, 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 see, it's not Lithuania, it's all of this, right? Like, the law-breaking, the fleeing, the spying, this isn't me. Well, what about the Tahanis? Don't you want to help them? Um, the Tahanis are fine, Steve. Unlike you, they're not running around trying to commit treason. Oh, hey, listen, I'm trying to help people. And so long as this spying program exists in the shadows, there's no guarantee of justice. I, I have everything under control. And what happens when you don't anymore? I don't need you to tell me how to take care of my family. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Yeah, I guess I don't. Oh, uh, I didn't mean it like that. No, no, it's stupid. <laughs> Why would anybody listen to stupid Steve? Right? No, Steve. Good night, Mary. Nailed it. <laughs> Bad girls finish first. 
married. Hey, Steve, that girl is here. I'm, I'm sorry, is that a good thing? I'm Steve's roommate, Sasha. This is where I would normally make a comment about how attractive you are, but I realize it would be offensive to imply that your outward appearance somehow requires validation from the male gaze, because it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Children would be strong, 
beautiful and fluent in Romanche. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm a lot weaker than I look. So Nonsense. Kind of you are a fine specimen, Stevie. Why don't you come by my hotel room for a drink tonight? Oh, no, I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> Excellent, room 1147. Fucky, fucky time. <laughs> 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 hey, Mary. Hey, um, I was thinking about it, and just hear me out, but what if we call the whole thing off? Huh? Mary? I know, Fatima. Listen, you've only got six more hours of training today. Six? Use Fatima's motivation. Imagine what she's going through right now. God, she must be so scared. <laughs> Oh. 
Steve, <laughs> your son. Uh, call me back sometime, eh? Um, oh, oh, actually, the reason I'm calling is that, um, well, you won't be able to get a hold of me for a little while. Uh, I'm about to do something really big, and soon everybody's going to know who I am. Wow, <laughs> that sounds like I'm about to blow up a building. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm going to do something good. Anyway, uh, email me if you want. All right. Love you. Hack the U.S. Customs and find out. How hard would that be? 
about as hard as cast and detect magic outside of battle with a wisdom mod of plus three. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Very easy. <laughs> well, Todd, you are not such a nice guy after all. You say that like it's a good thing? Take the compliment, Todd! <laughs>
Oh, come on. What's wrong? Uh, besides the fact that our passports were canceled and we've been trapped in the shitty airport for two months? You know, isn't it funny that we got stuck at the exact same airport that Edward Snowden was stuck in? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you gotta relax, Mary. Yeah, I'll relax when I can get a Wi-Fi signal strong enough to start releasing these documents. What, what the hell is ROL, anyway? Russia Online. This <laughs> yeah. country is stuck in 1995. Oh, come on. This could be fun if you let it. You gotta lean in. Yeah, I'd like to lean into a shower. Say <laughs> da to life. Next part. Niet. Que cosa? What a beautiful woman. Not again. Ciao. I'm Eduardo. Has anyone ever told you? You look like a young Sandra Bullock. Okay, Eduardo, I'm gonna stop you right there. You are the fifth KGB agent to approach me this week. I'm not giving you the flash drive. KGB agent? I'm Russian spy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no spy. I just walked into this airport and saw a beautiful woman who reminds me of my favorite actress. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, uh, Okay, well then, what is your favorite movie of hers? The Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> Dos Vidania. <laughs> and unless you send Hugh Grant next time, I'm not interested. You know, just think. Two months ago, you were working a boring office job, and now you're being wooed by handsome Russian spies. Oh my god, how are you this optimistic all of the time? I don't know, I'm just wired that way, I guess. Well, you can't always be happy. Well, no, but... Listen, I... I used to get made fun of a lot. Ever since I was a kid, people have called me Stupid Steve. No. Your friend Lisa used to call me that all the time in college. I have never heard her ever say that. No, it's, it's okay. I'm, I learned early on that everybody has haters. And uh, <laughs> the trick is just to not let them stop you from being you. So you just choose to be happy? Yeah, actually. Um, be, be that. Be the best you can be every day? Yeah, that's my mantra. I got it from a fortune cookie when I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> I smudged it. Oh, don't worry. I I've got like a million copies of it. Oh, always make a copy. That's another one of my mantras. <laughs> so many mantras. Well, it's true. <coughs> Every day I wake up and I think, today, I'm going to be the best person that I can be today. Well, yeah, but what if everything goes wrong? Well, then I always have tomorrow. Well, that's all very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's because I'm lost. <laughs> I find myself in such an attractive way. <laughs> close, so close, Conrad. I'm, I'm sorry, I think you must have me confused. Uh, my name is Richard Pennington. I own a quirky independent bookstore in London. <laughs> I go to remain in the Brexit pool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, I admire your commitment. I really do. But I haven't showered in two months, and I can see your nostrils quivering from here. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Okay, well then take me. Take me right now! Oh, <laughs> 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 French guys with hunchbacks. That's real quasi motor types. That should hold him off for a while. You know, I think he was a keeper. No, I think Sandy was right. Relationships don't work when they're based on intense circumstances. Well, does getting stuck in an airport count as an intense circumstance? No, not when we're going to spend the rest of our lives here. I promise you we won't. Then why are you teaching yourself Russian? As soon as Juliana straightens out things with the Lithuanian embassy, We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Sdnham Rusdenhenny. Wow, that's a lot of consonants. Sdnham Rusdenia. Oh, well, we'll work on it. Oh, we're gonna die here. No, no, <laughs> we're gonna get out, and we're gonna have real beds again. And Reese's peanut butter cups. All the Reese's you could possibly eat. A hundred and seventeen, but that's when I hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> A bathroom. Oh, a real bathroom. Oh. With an actual shower and soap. Right? I mean, 
I must smell awful right oh, now. No, 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 you smell fine. I must be disgusting. No, 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 you smell great. You smell great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to go over here for a second. Yeah. thing that I need, though I'd give my left nut for some soap. Who <laughs> would have guessed after all this time you were under my nose all along? But it wasn't until now that I realized that I'm smelling something very strong. I need you now, like a bee needs a flower. I need you now, like a drunk needs happy hour. Everything that you're doing for us. 
Of course, Stephen. You're an important member of the cause. If there's anything I can do to make your time here easier, please let me know. Oh, um, okay. Um, oh, Mary, do you need anything? Uh, yes, um, the Tahanis have their court date next week. Can you please make sure that their lawyer shows up? Yeah, that would mean a lot to us. Well, you mean a lot to me, so I will inquire. Great. <laughs> Uh, Mary, did you need anything else while she's here? Um, some Reese's would be great. Oh, yeah, uh, those are delicious. You're delicious. Might as well walk right into that one. <laughs> I should find some for you. Oh, but you can. <laughs> I live to please you. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Get up! <laughs> Steve, uh, why don't you run across to TGI Fridays and rustle us up some dinner? I have a few tiny things to talk about with Juliana. Okay, uh, Juliana, would you like anything? Oh no, thank you. I'm allergic to uh, casual dining. Just get my wallet, and I will go off to get that. You know, the wallet's in here somewhere. Just I'll just, yeah, just take one thing and find it later. <laughs> All right, listen here, you swift bitch. I don't know what your problem is, but you need to back your Ricola loving ass off. <laughs> I mean at layoff. I am a very powerful woman, Mary. You do not want to cross me. Or what, to say the hills are alive? That's <laughs> 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 I admire your loyalty, Stephen. I do. It's very 
Not Swiss. Do <laughs> 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 you need to stop thinking about yourself? What is that supposed to mean? It means you should rethink us. For the last time, Juliana, I'm not interested in a relationship with you. But that night... It was a drunken mistake. I've regretted it ever since. We have something good, Stephen. Our children would be so tall and so pale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with someone else. <laughs>
change the NSA from the inside. No, it's a little too late for that. Maybe not. I brought something with me. Please tell me that it's Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, of course. Of really? Course I brought you those, honey. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I also brought something else. No, he said these savages do only have Reese's. I mean, how backwards can you be? I don't know how much longer I could have lasted without chocolate and peanut butter all over my face. Hello, traitor. <laughs> now, don't worry, Patrick has no jurisdiction here. He just came to give you something. Can we do this somewhere else? It smells like the cold open of Law and Order SVU. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, he didn't smell it anymore. <laughs> what the shit is this? It's an immunity deal. Because you haven't released any of the documents you stole, right now all of this is undoable. You came here to bring me home? Honey, if you return the flash drive and come home with us, this deal states that you will not face any prosecution, and you'll get your old Jack back. Uh, I was firmly against it at first, but even Jack had to work with terrorists for the sake of national security. <laughs> that, <laughs> and Director Jenkins said he'd can his ass if he didn't come. Lisa, how could I ever trust him? Because I have nothing to hide. Oh, really? Saskatchewan. What? How did you find out? The funny thing about the documents I stole, they also had personnel files, including every employee's place of birth. Oh. <laughs> you were born in Canada! <laughs> <laughs> Not my <by> choice! <laughs> it was my godforsaken parents. My father dodged the draft and they relocated to Virginia. Oh. <laughs> what did the Canadians do to make you hate them so much? It wasn't the Canadians! In the second grade, we relocated to Kansas City. The kids teased me mercilessly. I'll bet he bleeds maple syrup, they'd say, as they pelted me with Susan B. Anthony coins. <laughs> <laughs> they called me weak, like Canadian football, and fed it like the Canadian dollar. <laughs> One day, someone put gravy in my backpack, and from then on, they called me Poutine Patrick. Poutine <laughs> Patrick! Poutine Patrick! Are uh, you okay? I'm not crying, you're crying! <laughs> anyway, you don't need to trust Patrick because this deal states that they will create an internal review board of the entire spying program and you will be on it! Lisa, do you hear yourself? An internal board. Nothing is going to change. And you're really changing the world, sleeping here in a Russian airport, smelling like a Staten Island dumpster fire. Well, I was lying. Ever since I got here, I've been trying to figure out how to breathe through my ears. Honey, if you turn to page four, you will see that this deal includes immunity for the Tahanis. Sign this. And everything will go back to the way that it was. Fatima. Patrick, you have yourself a deal.
with love. Mary Peters is back in the U.S. and she is ready to talk. Mary, yeah. welcome home. I um, thank you. I just flew in a few hours ago, so things are still a little easy. There's been a lot of secrecy surrounding why you and Steve Pilardi were trapped in that airport for so long. One of my sources say that you had access to a domestic spy program. Is that true? <coughs> no, um, he was just a renegade anarchist, and I was caught up in his love of lies. Back from the USSR, international fugitive Mary Peters is here with us on MSNBC. Mary, level with me. Was Steve planning on selling state secrets to the Russians for cash? What? No. Steve was just a renegade anarchist, and I was caught up in his love of life. It sounds like it could have been about money. Good evening, real America. Oh, God. This <laughs> is Fox News. I'll get a secret tonight. She can see Russia from her house. Mary Peters, thank you for choosing America's number one news source. I didn't choose any of this, Patrick. First question. I don't know what's more concerning. The fact that this man betrayed his own country. Or the fact that President Obama still hasn't acknowledged his failure in all of this. <laughs> okay, that's not a question. Isn't it?
you can't blame yourself for him being in that water in the first place. There was room on that driftwood for two people! <laughs>
Now, I know some of you are probably still angry, but let's remember not to uh, treat her poorly. <laughs> let's remember the uh, two reason she came back. After all, she is one of Judas. What? I'll work on that last one. <laughs> Patrick, when can I start meeting with that internal review committee? Oh, about that. We uh, don't have enough room for it in the fiscal budget this year, so we're going to have to table that till next year. Sorry, Cupcake. Hey, Patrick, Kiefer Sutherland is Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster!
What's with the change of heart? It was your friend, Lisa. Wait, she convinced you to do this? She flew to Switzerland and threatened to expose my darkest secrets if I did not comply. Oh my god, she blackmailed you. Even I have secrets to keep. Well, thank you. I did not do it for you. I didn't think you did. I did not do anything for you. Oh. <laughs> you don't have a lot of girlfriends, do you, Julia? I'm not a lesbian, if that is what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, a shoe. Bless you. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was trying to say a shoe. Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, what's the Lithuanian word for thank you? A shoe. Oh, uh, well then, a shoe. Bless you. <laughs> thank you. A shoe. Oh, right. <laughs>
Why don't you explain it to me? <laughs> <laughs> that evidence is classified. No courtroom in America would admit it. He's right. No courtroom in America would. But then Fatima and I had a little chat, and we thought, why not have you extradited to stand trial for crimes against humanity in your country of birth? No! <laughs> no! <laughs>